things taken care of, but realistically, we need to finish our job. We need to finish the items that have been backlogged, and, and I think if we take that, and then I think it was the issue of having a two-hour, you know, a little gathering celebration that has more merit behind it, a little bit more substance to it, but I, really to them, I think right now, we need to focus. I think we bring the motion up the November meeting, okay? And at that time period, we make the motion. But I think right now, we need to focus on November. That, is, that meeting, everybody needs to be there, be core, and then we found out everything that needs to be taken care of. Okay, Mr. Brenner, I'd like to say. I think I, you know, I agree with Mr. Johnson regarding the, the financial stuff. Uh, at the last second, you gave the presiding officer of the of the yeah, budget and finance committee 30 days to clean it up before a motion that was brought up at that uh, meeting would be taken up again. So those 30 days that they can expire at the next in, in a week and a half, correct? Yes, it's the next. Well, I would be presumptive to say I had the power myself to give that 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 give that authority. But, you put a motion in well, the, the, the point, well, actually, what we did was, when we, you're partly there. They've already submitted the report, the written report, okay? We've had a discussion. Now, at that time period, I mean, that's why I said here. I kept to my side of the bargain here, but it's kind of presumptive of you to say that I was the one to have that authority. Everybody here now has that authority, okay? So, I can not be later the point. The point is, it comes back to the committee. To get together and everybody's got to be involved in the process. Have so have a motion good. on the floor that has been seconded. So I'd like to take a vote on that motion on the floor. Oh, floor. So let's go ahead and take a vote. Okay, all in favor of the motion as stated. What's the motion? The, 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 the short of the meeting. The short of the meeting. Short of the meeting from six to seven and have an outreach community celebration from seven to nine. Today. All that discussion with it. You know that thing. We do that one. Yeah. Okay. I hope you're okay. Okay. Opposed? Abstention? So what is it? 1601. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, Madam Chair, there's, there's a discrepancy here. Yes. And, they, and, and, and we've been discussing it. That's why they're kind of out of order. Because under, we need to have an interpretation of what Article 5, Section 3, official actions of the board meeting. That's simple majority, 50 plus 1. They, they keep going. Yes. There, there's, more, there's more language. By there. the director's presence, not including abstention. So abstentions are not included in the, in the vote. At a meeting at which there is a quorum, shall be required to take official action unless specified other parties. So Mr. Um, McGuire's motion does pass because you have to take out the abstentions and then that, that the simple majority of that. But it has to be 50 plus 1, so. So what's 50? No, no, that, that, that's what I meant. Let's see. There was a couple of votes that were taken, and I'm telling you, you'll have to go back to the record. The secretary, one vote went one way, and another vote went the other way. So which way? Which vote? Which, yeah. Let's see. Well, in a way. Only one. Okay, going back to the... <laughs> We're going back to the... Single use carryout bay. Right. So we already have 17, uh, it was 17 board members, so 9 would be the... Uh, it, would, it was 8, one. 3, 6. No, but it's <coughs> not... And what does this say exactly? It's a simple majority vote. Simple majority vote. Simple majority vote. By the director's president, not including abstention. Well, I, I think that's just... What? I think that's an that obvious nice. statement. It's just that you don't take kind of abstentions. You don't take them off the top. You just don't include them. You don't include them as a yes. They're independent. They're independent. Yeah. They're independent. They're independent. Yeah. I mean, they're independent. They're independent. They're independent. Yeah, attorney, yeah. would you like to say on this case, Capricia?
go back to the yeah, yeah, we'll look, at, look back at Robert Drew's rules yeah. of order to see what But the bottom of it. Uh, supersede there. Yeah, the bottom of order. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think there's a whole lot there. I, I think it's just saying don't count the extensions, but we know that. Yes, but you have to have 50 plus 1. Yeah, That's what he's saying. Yeah, of the entire board. Yeah. 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 Board. So, so, so in this case, it's going to be nine. So it would be six of us to be nine, and that's the point. And that's why it didn't pass. Right. Okay. Okay. It did not pass because it did not have nine. Yes. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, so then we have put down our December board meeting. So if anybody would like to, you know, discuss planning, you know, that that can be brought up to the executive committee, and then we can ask them for an exception. Give us some funds for, for refreshments for our December policy. Um, any board number five on the agenda? Any board member announcements? Cynthia? Any board member announcements? And I'll start with Mr. Johnson and we'll uh, I have one I have one announcement and it's like year after year announced in the in this community, there used to be something called sleepy college as we get close to Halloween. Creepy call it. Creepy call it is my state of mind right now. Okay, creepy call it was an ongoing event that was done in collaboration with the council office the last few years. I would be very disappointed again if we did not have a creepy call it event this year because that was generally something that was funded by the council office was something that should not happen. I, unless somebody knows there's information out there. Okay, Cynthia, go ahead. There is a creepy call. It's there is a creepy call. It's, it is on Halloween. Uh, the Alternative Community Coordinating Council will be okay, working with a council member. Mm -hmm. uh, we will have our booth. We will have safety yes. um, flashlights on. We will be the organization that is supporting yes. that event. And they invited the LA32 Neighborhood Council okay. because we haven't, had, so we haven't had a chance to, to bring it up to work. So, as I know, they have Anthony, I believe, for the search. If you could be out there with our booth and be so part of it. It's happening. But okay, because yeah. we don't have any funds to donate to the creepy callers, I, I didn't really, you know, I couldn't do the search. And our booth could be out there and give some opportunity. Right. In, the, that, in the past, it's been something that was funded going back. They are Going funded. back to what? Going back to Pachak? I mean, going back to Pachak Hall out of Florida? They are funded. They are funded. Okay. Thank okay, yeah. you. So, the, yes, they are funded. They have invited, so they're not going well, to Can I finish my next announcement since I'm what? already talking? Oh. 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 There's another event that's happening November 2nd. It is our arts and culture community, right? Which is already uh, done this for the last four years. No, so it's not the LA32 no. neighborhood. No, it's not. No, no. It, it's called the Al Serino. Even though we have we we created. Wait, wait. Get... Before you guys get on, to, I had um, that particular issue with not being determined by the city attorney. It was previously done by the LA Prediction Neighborhood Council and created via a neighborhood council meeting. It's currently at city council, so the, the determination journey we made. Yeah, but, but LA 32 is not providing anything. I know. So just the name, I know, but just not well, reference to the LA. No, we're not using no, it. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to think. Yeah. What we're not using it, and we're calling it a Via de Cultura. Okay, so it's a different name. And oh, what's, yeah. what's the name? Via de Cultura. No, the, 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 the organization. Oh, the name. Name. oh it's. Um, we're doing it under El Serena Community Arts. Two girls from El Serena. Two, two poets from El Serena. I mean, two poets. And Red 67 Red are all 67. getting together. It's a November 2nd event, all day. Alter Art Walk. Uh, art Gallery in the Tunnel and that goes from um, Deck in the Box to across the street. <clears throat> and then a community altar at the park. Then. So if anybody's interested, I'm dropping off a photocopy of your family member you would like to recognize that day or several. There are three drop-offs. You have Buena Vista Furniture, Holy Grounds, and right here downstairs in the constituents office. They have a handle. So you can just bring, make sure they're not originals, you will not get them back. Thank you so much. Yeah, the Daily Network, yes. Okay. <laughs> Is there any, any other board in the Any, any other board yeah, I, I can no longer effectively be the chair for um, the Arts and Culture Committee. I don't know if this is a, you know, a moment in which to mention that. Um, I, I want to recommend um, Angie to take over as chair since she, you know, previous to me getting on board and up until now has been really involved with, with everything she pretty much knows me what to do. And I can only serve as a drug worker and the, uh, you know, within an advisory capacity. Can we so any new to, to, to I'll go ahead and reconfigure the, the, the whole committee and then 
now we will have an updated list. What you do, get a flat file? Mr. Chavez? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have two, two things. Um, for the bylaws, you notice Anthony keeps bringing his book, and that's not current book. So I would suggest for the executive meeting that somebody within your executive people make a motion to buy the 22 books. We can put in black writing, one, two, three, after 22. And when we have our meetings over there, they could be issued, and then take it back every night, just like the, you know, that. Okay. Yeah, whether that could be money that you can still get from done now because it's part of the outreach and what have you. Okay, the other thing is if we have brand new board members, something I've been trying to get for the longest time is the business cards. So since we have new people here, get their emails, their cell phones that they want to put in the card or anything they want to put in the card, plus our website for LA32 on that business card from the city. Since it's money that's not tied up with our frozen funds, it could be done, done ASAP. But I need to know from you, if you or the recording secretary over there, Mr. Johnson. Johnson or Johnston? Johnson. 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 Oh, okay. Anyway, whether he, whether he needs to collect that information from all. Hello, one meeting, please. But he needs to collect the information from all the board members, what they want on their business card, and then he can email it to the lady at Piper Tech. Yes. So she has it, and I'll be glad to go pick him up or something. He can let me know because since I don't work anymore, I have the time to go anytime. Thank you, Mr. Chavez, but right now our funds are frozen, so we'll have to be... Even for that? Well, I, I don't know. Mr. That's operations of it. Yeah, but I don't know. I, would, I really have not spoken to them about that anymore because I know all our funds are frozen. Meantime, he can collect that information, so we'll say, get on frozen, say you can't buy him Thank out. You. He's ready to go. Okay, uh, let me go ahead. Uh, board member a lot of people have throughout the discussion, Scott Rubin, the president, about the funds being frozen. I did meet with Dunn yesterday. Uh, there's just a few things we need to tie up. Most of them are would be board member resolutions. But aside from that, we also have to put our, together our outreach plan, which I don't think has been prepared by the membership and outreach committee. Did and you did, you did put it together? Right. Okay, great. That. That's completed. And then the... It has to be brought to the... Right, right. What we did was the strategic plan. Yeah, it has to be. So we're, we're 80% complete. It's not like there's that much difficulty mm -hmm. left in finishing the paperwork. There's just receipts that need to be located uh, from online purchases. And uh, hopefully, these resolutions can be prepared by the November meeting, which is in about two or three weeks. So the, the paperwork's being done. Oh, we're also going to have a meeting. You ask for a meeting, of course, it's part of the announcement. It's the time for me to say when we're having a meeting. In about two weeks, it's on Thursday of the 24th of this month. So that's when the next budget and finance committee meeting is. And it's for but you know after, I, I, the, after the executive committee meeting, that means we wouldn't we were hoping to get it done by the well, executive committee so we could have everything already yeah, submitted to all the board members so that we could vote. Just calendar again, it was just, we would like to have it submitted before, before the meeting. <laughs> the executive committee mm -hmm. meeting will be on the thirtieth. On the thirty first. On the thirtieth. On the thirtieth. So, so, yeah, so it's still a week before. Yeah. On the 30th? So it's still a week okay. before. So that way, we'll, all the documents have to be submitted to the executive committee so that it could be submitted to the board on the agenda for the November 6th meeting. Mm -hmm. So it works. Okay. Okay. Um, Anthony, what time for budget and finance? Uh, 6 o'clock. I haven't been to the location yet. I'll be also in the library. I'd have to see if it's available. Okay, not the co yard. Okay, so. I don't have a location yet. So let's go ahead, and if you can email all of us, Anthony, that would be great. Put up Yahoo groups and send it to Aaron so that all of the community is aware. Thank you. Um, one second. Anyone else? Um, board member announcements? Can we? <coughs> Mr. Um, no? It's, it's, okay. Um, along the lines of Scott Johnson, we decided about Halloween. Uh, I would also look yeah. up ahead to Christmas time. I know our funds are closed right now, but if we can do anything to get funding to the Councilman's office to make sure that Huntington Drive at least is decorated like um, last year, it was done through the efforts of community members. Yes, it was uh, yeah. by Daniel. Yes, so if we could um, <coughs> make a request to Councilman's office with time so that funding is available. Thank you. Yeah. Any other board member announcements? Yeah, that's me. I said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, 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 did you want to make an announcement? Yes, the assembly member Gomez's Northeast Los Angeles House 
and Community Fair, October 19th. How many can show up? Who can volunteer for the 19th? Oh, we we got new board members. Yeah. We are partnering with Mr. Jimmy Gomez, Assemblymember Jimmy Gomez, for Northeast Boyle Heights Community Health Fair. You have to come. So if you guys would like to participate, you have to come. Well, maybe you should ask for the new board members what it is that you'd like. Yeah, I would like to meet them in the next But at this point, anybody can volunteer. Yes. And is it just a volunteer? Be like, you don't have to stay all day and go for one hour and help set up. Hope it's you, Mr. Okay. Uh, Break down.